heavy military presence on the streets of the Tibetan capital Lhasa. Deserted streets, blocked roads and closed shops as a curfew remains in place following the deadly anti-China demonstrations that took place on Friday. It's messy out there. Many Tibetans saw cars and destroyed them. They hit the people they saw. They hit the Chinese. They might be unhappy or unsatisfied with the government or something else. Cars burned, shops were looted, and crowds of ethnic Tibetans clashed with police and soldiers. The independence protests were the fiercest in the region in two decades. The protests, which grew from peaceful demonstrations led by monks earlier in the week, had turned violent. These photos obtained by Al Jazeera were taken by tourists and show early incidents of the protests in Lhasa. And the government response was swift and harsh. Fighting, looting, burning, these actions destroy the stability of society. These events can be described as an organized and planned plot. We are very determined to denounce this separatist activity and the plot will not be successful. China has accused Tibet's exiled spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, of engineering the protests. There were no reports of any foreigners among the dead, and those that were in Lhasa fled quickly. Something like 40 trucks uh, with soldiers going in and 36 tanks, I counted them. Because they, they went by my hotel, my, right. my new hotel. And uh, so it was really, they, they came down on the Tibetan people really hard. Now, China faces an even bigger problem as these demonstrations have been matched around the world. Police in Sydney arrested at least four people during a violent pro-Tibet demonstrations outside the Chinese consulate. We want freedom from China! Meanwhile, in India, dozens of ethnic Tibetans attempted to hold a demonstration in front of the Chinese embassy in New Delhi, but were intercepted by police. And there are reports of 20 Tibetan protesters being arrested in Nepal's capital. China has set a surrender deadline for midnight on Monday, saying rioters will be treated leniently if they give themselves up. All this upheaval as the Olympic torch is due to arrive in Tibet in a matter of weeks. Today, Lhasa is under a forced calm, but the Tibetan people have clearly made their voices heard around the world. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera.